now turning to the upcoming elections for president and the legislature. There's been a lot of speculation that the China-friendly KMT and TPP might team up to defeat the independence-minded DPP, although TPP founder and presidential candidate Ko Wenzhe hasn't shown any interest. In the latest, two KMT legislative candidates, Zhang Sigang and Yu Shuhui, have openly called for cooperation with the TPP, saying it is in the best interest of both parties. However, this has been met with resistance from other KMT politicians. Zhang Zigang and Yu Shuhui, who are both Taipei KMT city councillors and legislative candidates representing northern areas in Taipei, have said openly on an online program that they hope to win support of the TPP. The number of seats we can win will be maximised. If, for example, in this place only one person runs, either from the KMT or TPP, I think everyone should join forces and concentrate their efforts. During the primaries, weren't there some candidates that in their own different ways were on the same page as Ko Wenzhe? There's Zhang Peijun, Xu Chaoxin, and Lo Zhiqiang. We are facing a difficult situation. We want to help the party win the most votes. The two were making an appeal to the KMT central headquarters that they hoped to reach a consensus with the TPP's presidential candidate, Ko Wenzhe, and reach a goal of maximising the number of China-friendly or pan-blue legislative seats. Legislator Johnny Jung, who the KMT wants to run for re-election, did not object. Getting the most votes is our highest goal. However, the KMT's legislative caucus disapproved, warning that the party could take disciplinary measures. We will first make thorough contact with our Taipei city branch instead of focusing on the interests of some individuals who are concerned with whether they get elected or not. Former KMT lawmaker Alex Tsai said the KMT's presidential candidate Hou Youyi was treating his presidential election like his mayoral election, which has made him fall from being one of the strongest candidates to the weakest. In recent months, some polls have found that the TPP's Ke has outperformed the KMT's Hou and even the DPP's presidential candidate Lai Ching De. If the polls continue with this trend, Hou's bid could be scuppered. The focus will be whether the philosophy and values are consistent with the values that the TPP emphasizes. The topic of blue and white cooperation has been tossed about. However, there seems to be just a lot of noise in the blue camp. As the popularity of the TPP is on the rise and the KMT seems to be faced with declining momentum, it seems like individual KMT candidates are only out for themselves.